The only traces of the McGill pro-Palestinian encampment are red and white signs saying the field is closed. Now it is the beginning of a new semester and students have a lot to say about the mood on campus. I'm excited to see kind of how that works out uh, and how they're going to respond to what happened with the encampment and see if they're going to end up divesting at some point. I think it's unfortunate that they took so long to take the steps to dismantle the encampment. It definitely brought a lot of division between the students. It's been a while now and I think uh, people are starting to forget about it a little. For others, the images of campers being removed by Montreal police are still fresh on their minds. The kind of police brutality and, you know, students like a few weeks ago were being tear gassed and assaulted. The Student Society of McGill University says the removal of the encampment doesn't mean that protests are over. We have continued to see protests uh, in front of riot gates. So we have continued to see that on almost a daily to weekly basis. A moment of friction between McGill's president and a student was seen thousands of times on Instagram. I don't have to. So then get out of here. No, I don't have to. You're public figure. I think this is on a lot of students' minds right now. Is a, a video that's been circulating of the president of McGill, Deep Saini, looking as if he is trying to reach out and grab a student who is kind of bringing some of this information to the forefront. It seemed as if they were kind of really frustrated with the lack of transparency regarding the kind of uh, communication from the, the president about the state of divestment. The university released a statement saying its priority is the safety and well-being of its community and it is working on initiatives to straighten what it calls respectful discourse. But Solomon says without concrete measures soon, tensions could rise this semester on campus. Some students are already planning a walkout on Friday to make their voices heard.